Okay, so this is what the F-150 looks like at its stock ride height. Uh, this has not been leveled out at all. Uh, they don't sit terribly downhill, but you can tell the front is lower than the rear. So we'll be installing the rough country blocks today and uh, should only take a few hours to get it done. Okay, so we've actually already done the other side. Little rule of thumb on YouTube, uh, always do one side first so you know what you're doing on the second side, you know what I mean? So this is gonna like, look like we're a couple pros uh, when really we're not. So, I've already broken all the lug nuts loose. Just gonna remove the tire, of course. There, Daniel. Thank you, sir. You can tell by our assortment of tools that we've uh, done one side already. Just a little learning, but it's really, it's actually really simple. Okay, first we're gonna go ahead and unhook this brake line. There's an eight and a couple of tens holding this all uh, attached because when we do drop this whole knuckle, uh, we don't want it pulling on any of our brake lines. So there's a little clip up here that we can push out. Daniel, me and Daniel's gonna be tag teaming this and we'll try to show you every step of the way. So there's that little clip. We're going to take this eight out right here and uh, then we got a 10 right beside of it and then we got a 10 up here on the frame we basically got to take up off this upper control arm this is just like for people that doesn't know a lot of most people watching this going to know this is like an upper a arm pretty much there's your bushing there's your knuckle you got your steering arm up in front this uh, arm right here then you have your sway bar sway bar keeps it from just galley vent flopping if you off-road you don't want sway bars fun fact we didn't have uh, a wrench oh that one bad didn't have a wrench big enough to do this so we had to use a croissant croissant wrench it's freaking hot too it's so like humid, humid. yeah that's what it is there's a pour outside i thought daniel would go skinny dipping <laughs> he keeps refusing i think we should have brought the air conditioner with us <laughs> yeah rolled it in there yeah. there it goes you love it too much that's it yeah too gentle so if you didn't notice, we're in my father-in-law's garage. There's Braxton's go-kart. There's a lot of stuff. Can't here. see it. There's a go-kart <laughs> behind Becca. But Our the, stuff is <laughs> spilling over to his garage. Yeah. We have to call. Say hey. That's a real bad. You know I got that garage just bigger than yours. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should do that before you unhook this. Hey. Oh, that was, that was actually really easy. Taking off the upper control arm bushing nut. All right, now with this upper, basically hit it with hammer. Bob's your uncle. You would think that would be hard to put back on, but it was actually really easy, wasn't it? Yeah. And guess what? Sweat just rolled in my mouth. Uh, so now we gotta loosen or take the strut bolt out and the three uh, nuts on top. That's gonna be hard on your back like that. Did you tell me? I'm just trying to help. <laughs> she tried to beat my car. Right? <laughs> Alright, Sonic speed. This ain't time lapse. <laughs> Is your nut off there? Oh yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to, you know, just give you a good workout. Oh! oh. <laughs> Wait a second. We should have bought Dad an AC for Father's Day. <laughs> so we could take advantage of that. <laughs> Ba bam A lot of people unhook 
the sway bar link from the lower control arm, but I think it's easier to do it to the, from the upper. Oh yeah, that was a lot easier. <laughs> that seemed dangerous. Axle just came out, yeah, there you go. Yeah, Daniel's boss. Okay. Go back here with this uh, 15 right here. This impact. I'm gonna show you how this. This is the easiest part of the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, check out Thoughts from the Edge uh, YouTube channel. That's the guy that, like we were just telling what I was gonna do to my truck and he just graciously sent this leveling kit and 50 bucks to get a line. So that was pretty sweet. We are greatly, it's greatly, greatly appreciated. Faux show. So to uh, the instructions tell you what holes to use, and I'm just putting these nuts on to uh, hold my studs from falling. Set this on the, uh, well, well, right there. This is a rough country, I think. What does that look like, inch and a half? That's torque to hard spec. <laughs> now we can take these out and then just insert it back in. That's so freaking simple. Back in the day, I had a Ranger that took one. I messed up and bought a polyurethane. This is the uh, plastic. I don't know what you call this style. Whatever it's called. Yeah. Uh, something scientific. Probably something <laughs> another. Uh, it's, but I looked up videos because I was worried about this sagging over time. Uh, I think it was on Dirt Every Day or something. They pulled one off that had been on the truck for eight years, a three inch one. And it hadn't sagged one single bit so they work okay. this kit did not come with the right uh, nuts by the way we had to go buy some hardware you burn you out so close but yet so far there we go one around you Okay, so basically we just got to tighten up the top of the strut, the upper control arm, the uh, tie rod, and then the sway bar, and then hook that brake line back up. Mm -hmm. She's all golden, so we'll show you what she looks like when she's done. And boom, there she is. All leveled out, looks freaking sweet. You know, if you was just to look at it, you wouldn't, and didn't know I put a leveling kit, you wouldn't know it, I don't think, but uh, it looks good. So uh, now we're going to run down to co-op and get our tires and wheels put on. I'm freaking excited about that. Let's go. And there she is. I was actually going to film them installing the wheels and tires and aligning it, but uh, I end up having to do some other videos. I think it looks absolutely awesome. I went with 18-inch wheels instead of 20s on this truck because I like the fatter tire, and these are 33 um, and I went with Falcon Wild Peaks. They're basically a knockoff of the mid -oak. You can see the tread pattern is almost identical to, I think, the Terra Grapplers. And uh, I've got about 5,000 miles on these tires now, actually. But uh, I think everything looks awesome. We're almost done with the exterior of this truck. I did buy me some, uh, and I haven't installed them yet, the inner fenders, because hardly no truck puts inner fenders in there. And you can see the paint of the bed so we'll be putting those on very soon and uh yeah let me know what you guys think i think it looks freaking sick uh, i do have a little bit more rubbing to clear out um because i went with a negative 24 millimeter offset on this truck but i did have to trim my balance right there that doesn't rub no more had to trim some of that 
what is rubbing is this corner right here. So I'm gonna have to address that. It only rubs when I turn at one at like 75 percent steering is where it rubs yeah let me know what you think and again thoughts from the edge thank you so much for sending out the leveling kit and paying for the alignment we never would have asked for anything like that but that was a freaking awesome view so make sure to check out the links in the video description where you can find uh his channel and find him on instagram and stuff awesome dude i mean we couldn't ask for better supporters of this channel for people to do things like this that we would never ask so let me know what you think of the truck in the comments below. I know some people hate Fords. I love them. So uh, next is bumpers and getting rid of those chrome uh, door handles. And then after that, uh, it's time to start putting the Boss 302 intake manifold, BBK throttle body, and a, and a tune on it. See how much power we can make. Thank you guys so much for watching, supporting us. We love you, and God bless.